Hello everyone. On a serious note, I think I have COVID-19. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's Claudia and right now it is September 3rd and I'm in my dorm. I don't know if you can hear by my voice, but I'm sick. Yeah. Rona hit me finally. I thought I was invincible, but I'm clearly not. I wasn't, I'm not positive totally yet. I got tested yesterday morning um, and I will know tomorrow morning um, if I'm positive, but um, I have almost all the symptoms. Um, we'll go more into that, but basically right now I am packing because um, I go to Ohio State University. Basically here you can either go home or you can get quarantined in their quarantine dorms for eight days. I don't know if you guys can hear me good, but yeah, it's probably hard for me to talk. I have my mask on because my roommate right now, she has no symptoms. I wouldn't want to get her sick right now, but I'm packing right now for the quarantine dorms for eight days because tomorrow morning will probably let me know that I need to leave. But here is the process of me packing my things. I still don't even get to do a dorm tour in here, so that's probably going to be postponed. Totally barefaced. I'm just, it's been like day four or five of this, um, so I'm finally like getting the boot. <laughs> okay, there's my roommate. This is Sophie. Hi. Yeah, we were going to do a whole roommate video at some point, but for right now, that's your sneak peek of Sophie. So far I just cleared out a shelf in here and this is where I have all like, you know, my cleaning supplies. Oh and look, I brought a magazine just in case I would need it and of course I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna make a photo collage while I'm there. Also, good thinking Claudia, I brought bracelet making things <laughs> that I already had from home, so make some bracelets. Have some playing cards, some nail polish, I'm gonna paint my nails there. See, I already have like stuff planned which is like really good and healthy already. I'm definitely taking my picture of Charlie, baby. I miss my puppy so much. And I have to bring lots of snacks. Yeah, we have tons in here. As you can see, this is like the candy and junk drawer. And then we get a little bit better in here. Okay, okay. And then there's clothes down here. My mom got me these. Chips Ahoy Reese's Pieces. Pretty delicious. My roommate, she's all packed up and prepared. You know, a lot more prepared than me. I should probably get on that, which I am. We need the wipes, essential. You guys are at my desk view right now. I'm just looking at things on my desk and like things that I'm gonna need to take with me. Obviously all my school stuff, you can't forget about that. It's just you guys, just cause you have Rona doesn't mean you don't get to do schoolwork. Maybe I should bring the For the Girls game there. Should I bring this? Yeah. Like, I mean, we're gonna be so bored, right? <laughs> we're gonna be, it's gonna be awful. Like, I think I should bring this. I just have to make sure I even have it. She's gotta make sure she has it. But the only thing that I'm thinking of is like if I did start getting symptoms on Sunday, I thought it was just a cough because she also thought it was just allergy allergies. But like for me, it just progressively like yeah. went in a line of series of events. Also, a fun fun fact: this morning I woke up and I have no taste or no smell. Um, yeah, pretty fun fact. It's been hard for me to eat because I just don't know what to eat because I can't taste anything. And like this perfume, like this is a Burberry perfume, pretty strong. Okay, I could smell a little. Dude, I could smell this a little bit. Yeah. All right, so the third new position at the desk here. Actually, I want to give you guys a really nice view from outside. So I have my thermometer right here. We're going to do my third temperature check of the day. Let's check out this one. All right, it is 98. Really important to keep checking your temp. There was one night, um, where I had the chills and I did have a temperature, but out of all the days, I've only had a temperature one of the days. I think vitamins probably will be necessary. Um, we also have some books that I brought here. I have not opened them yet, but my sister really likes this one. It's called Go Ask Alice. I'm also bringing two notebooks. This one, my teacher, Mr. Tigliano, got me. I love, and I like writing So in I guess the food sucks there and you don't even get to choose like what you want. They just like drop it at your door. That does not fly with me just because like I'm really picky, but also like I don't really have a taste, so I guess it doesn't matter. But like if the taste comes back tomorrow, like I'll be pissed. But in my little rolling cart, I have some snacks that I'm gonna bring. Like, of course, my fave Cheez Its. I have some pretzel nuggets that are so delicious peanut butter nuggets. So, um, if you guys didn't know, it's the next day now. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. Um, I know. Okay, I am. So it's the next day. As you guys saw yesterday, I was packing to leave for the COVID dorms or whatever. Today, you know how my roommate, she didn't really have symptoms yesterday. That's why I was wearing a mask around her, and she thought she was maybe negative, kind of, or maybe positive. 
So this morning when we woke up, Sophie, my roommate, got um, an email that said she was going to be pa that she was positive for COVID-19. And shortly after that, they called her, you know, to leave for the quarantine dorms. So I 100% was expecting my email to come in because I got my COVID test like six to eight hours before her. I should have gotten my email way before her, and I should have been called to leave way before her. So it is now 2:31 in the afternoon. Sophie already left. She's already moved in the new dorm with no symptoms. I'm here, sick as frick. I have COVID. Um, I'm still in my dorm, and they still haven't given me my given me my results yet. This is also fricked up, and it's all crazy. I'm answering any of their calls, and it's really frustrating. I'm on the phone with the Western Health Center here right now. Um, then that's really crazy. And also, she's in a Marriott, a Marriott hotel, not even the quarantine dorm, so I better get that. Right now, I've been playing a waiting game. She left at 11, 11.45 this morning. I walked her to the bus stop. So it's now been almost three hours later, and I'm driving myself crazy. I can't leave the storms. I don't want to infect anyone, but I also don't have real food. I mean, I do have snacks and shit, what I'm eating, but I'm driving myself crazy. I didn't go to my classes today. Eight calls ahead of me now. Guys, I'm currently crying in the club right now. Crazy, it's currently right now, five o'clock now. My roommate's been gone for like hours with the quarantine and I still have not getting called. It's just so annoying, because I just like have all my packed up and like I'm all ready to go and then like I have to start unpacking. Guys, super exciting news. They finally called me. Finally, like OSU didn't forget about me. They called me, but it is fine. It is now 6:27. Literally, I've been feeling like I've been losing. Sorry, this lighting's so bad. I've been feeling like I've been losing my mind all day today. But they're scheduling my quarantine housing right now, and I'm gonna see where I'm gonna go. I'll either be going to a quarantine dorm, or I will be going to the hotel that Sophie's at. <coughs> I'm good. All right, guys. I think we have everything packed up in the cart. I just had my blue light glasses on just so like, I didn't forget them, even though I'm not looking at a screen. Yeah, that sun, though, it's really blaring. It's beautiful out. So right now, the most embarrassing part is that everyone knows that if you come out with these red, like, big tub, moving tubs, they know that you have COVID. So I heard, like, a lot of people, like, gawk at you and are like, oh, good luck, or they, like, run away from you, so... Yeah, when I asked the front desk down there, I'm like, can I have like a red bin? He goes, I need your driver's license. I'm like, why? And he goes, because those have like money on them. I'm like, I'm getting this to bring to Lawrence Tower for COVID or He goes, oh yeah, you could take one. I'm like, thank you. Um, this is definitely pretty sad. Um, I'll see you in eight days room. I know you're messy, but this is what we gotta do. So right now I have to pass a main road with this huge bucket. People probably think I'm crazy. Probably already got looks. But it's going great. It's going great. I just gotta make it there. We're about 0.2 miles away. We got hey guys, this. Guys, this is it. I'm here. Time to go in, I can't move this cart. Okay, we got it. Pushing it. All right, I just got here. Gotta call this number so I can get my room. Oh look, those are for all the deliveries. I will definitely be eating DoorDash tonight. So they gave me my key to the door. I'm in the new dorm. And it just like simply, just like doesn't work or open my door. So that's great. So I'm gonna call the front desk and try to get that It's really funny, the girl came up here, like one of the desk assistants, cause I told him like the key wouldn't work. She opens the door and there's like someone in there like sleeping. <laughs> so she told me to stay here and she's gonna give me. I'm sorry, I heard. I thought I heard someone coming. But guys, I just wanna like go into a room so I can situate my. I finally got to my room, 424. I just walked in. I have a bathroom. I have a room. Not too bad. It's just a normal room. We'll make it work. Whatever. All right, guys, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a rocky experience. My bathroom's kind of nasty here. And just settling in, I was just like really upset. And I think I really need to get my pajamas out and get a lot of sleep. I didn't really sleep at all today during the day, which I probably should have, but I was just so preoccupied of like leaving. But I got my bed all together and made. But I'm all alone, which is kind of sad, but I have a really nice 
really pretty view. I'm glad that I can I could see from out this side and I'm on this side of the dorm because I love good views. That's something I love. Right now in the microwave I have some water that's gonna be heating up because I'm gonna make some tea. And I think sometimes tea like really relaxes me and right now I'm just like I'm getting more relaxed, but I really wasn't. It's just also stressful and you know it sucks that like high, that college kids and you know that anyone has to deal with corona. It just it's at horrible times and it's the lighting is super bad here, but I got my PJs on. We got the Vogue one from the polka dot, polka dot pants. And I am going to watch Dead to Me and get some rest and um, not worry about any school until tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to do good night. It's been a journey. Good morning, guys. In an update, right now I'm getting transferred to the hotel that my roommate is at. Oh my god, I know, in like one hour, so I'm packing all my stuff up. I'm just remaking my bed. Now I'm getting another call from my mother. Hello? I'm just packing this all back up. The bed's being unmade. Gotta put this bin into there, and then we're leaving soon for the bus stop. Another walk of shame, though, with the cart. So that's gonna be fun, fun. I've just been fun. eating some strawberries with sugar. You know, we gotta do a little dipper here. Got my gallon of water. Trying to at least go through like half of it. We gotta get the fluids in, guys. Super important. Right, guys, I just got on the bus and all my stuff's in there. It was a very large process, but we're gonna be going to the hotel soon. I'll see my roommate and it's gonna be good. So, that's your update. Right, guys, I'm in the hotel. I just am in the elevator and I'm getting off. To go to my room. Oh my god, it's so nice. This is so nice. And what is up? It has been a journey. A journey it has been. Hello guys, I'm finally in the hotel with my roomie Sophie. How's the so experience nice. been? Um, a little boring, but now she's here. So yeah, I'm so happy. Yes, yes. So I'll give you guys a tour. So this is when, as you walked in, you have a nice like cubicle, you know, organizer for your clothes. A mirror in the middle. Pretty cool. We have um, a microwave, there's a fridge down there. This is our really nice bathroom. Like, look at the shower head. Oh my gosh. So much better than that dorm I was in. And then we have two large beds. I'm gonna sleep so nice tonight. It's really nice. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep really nice. Really pretty artwork. A nice TV, flat screen TV right in front of us. And a beautiful window view. Oh my, I feel like a pool down there. I saw one online because I looked it up. There's one here, I know that. Oh, I didn't bring a swimsuit either. But yeah. Not like we're allowed Yeah, not like we're allowed Yeah. Hey guys, so right now, just like the last video, I am home and I just edited the whole entire like COVID video of vlog. Today's Wednesday, December 23rd. I know, almost Christmas, crazy. But I just wanted to close this because I know I didn't do an outro because I'm horrible. Yeah, I gotta be better at that. Um, I'll just like give a one rundown of my COVID experience. Like if I just scale it from one to 10, I would say like it was at like a three or four. It was very mild symptoms. Um, I had a fever one night, I had the chills one night, and the rest of the days I just had congestion and a little bit of a sore throat and no taste or smell for four days. So that was kind of the gist of my experience. Um, Ohio State did a great job. We went to um, my hotel, which was really nice. Definitely was a rocky journey, but I'm glad I documented it and let you guys all see it. I hope everyone is staying healthy and is, is having a great holiday season or winter break. Um, thank God finals are over and school's over. Uh, just enjoy it, you know, but I love you guys all so much. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to be updated when I post and follow me on Insta. All right. I love you guys all so much. Bye chicas. Mwah.